Meanwhile, attorneys for former President Trump are in a Georgia courtroom today arguing to have the election interference case against him delayed or dismissed altogether. This could mark the first time Trump's attorneys present arguments in the case that accuse Trump of more than a, and more than a dozen others of trying to overturn the election in, in Georgia. ABC News investigative reporter Olivia Rubin joins me now from Atlanta. Olivia, what are you watching for today? Well, there's a lot to look for, Diane, because as you said, this is going to be the first time that Donald Trump's attorneys are going to be making arguments on his behalf in an Atlanta courthouse since this indictment was brought in August. So we have heard a lot of Trump's arguments in the other cases that he is uh, facing, but we have never heard his attorneys argue here in Atlanta. And remember, to add on to sort of the newness of this all, this is a brand new attorney for Donald Trump. This is someone that he just brought on in recent months to handle this indictment. So there is a lot to look for. How is he going to argue this case? What are some of his main points going to be? What is his style going to be, Diane? And just sort of speaking to sources in the past few days that are close to the case, a lot of people looking today to see exactly what he is going to present. So a lot of eyeballs looking today for exactly how this is going to play out in this courtroom where we do expect he's going to argue, as you said, for dismissal of the entire case or specific counts at least if they can get some of those knocked out. Olivia, is there any sense on why, what the heart to this argument will be? So there are a number of motions that have been filed today, both from Trump and his co-defendants. But one of the motions Donald Trump has filed himself is this First Amendment argument, essentially saying that what Donald Trump said and did in Georgia was political speech that is protected under the First Amendment. So that is Trump's own argument. We don't know if that will actually be argued today, given it was not on the official schedule of motions from the judge. But Donald Trump has also adopted the motions of multiple other co-defendants that are essentially seeking to get the indictment or specific counts thrown out based on these sort of legal procedural nuances that there was an issue in the way the indictment was brought and the way it was written that should get the whole thing or specific counts tossed out, Diane. All right, investigative reporter Olivia Rubin in Atlanta for us. Olivia, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.